Hey everyone, LP here. Um, sorry for the quality of the video. I, I normally only use this phone for making short videos for uh, the membership. Uh, this video will go out. Uh, uh, basically, it's unscripted. It's uh, it's for the members, but it's kind of important. So I'm, I don't want to bore you anymore. I'm going to cover my schedule for the next few days, and then I'm going to talk about my predictions uh, that are kind of, kind of coming true to fruition about the election. So with uh, that said, um, you know, I got asked by one of my members, um, like what my schedule is going to be like for the next few days. Please don't swipe away. I'm going to be very quick about this and I'll get to my election predictions. Um, I currently have two days worth of six hours of driving each day. Um, I may have some possible detours uh, and uh, I, I, I'm, I'm looking at early mornings and late nights uh, and of course the unscheduled meetings. Now, um, I will be trying my best to cover the Kentucky uh, Sustainment and Homesteading and Preparedness Festival. Hopefully I said that right. It's a lot of words. Uh, but um, I don't know exactly how I'm going to be doing it. What I do know is that I'm going to attempt uh, uh, live streams at the 9-ish in the morning time period like I normally do. <clears throat> but they'll literally just be hangouts uh, and you know I'll be able to talk while you ask questions. Uh, I'm going to try and do daily recaps and post those up uh, for the members. Uh, and then I'm also going to try and video as much of the trip as possible. Uh, and I'm also going to try and cover uh, the festival live, uh, 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 live stream. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm trying to cover the festival via live stream first. Uh, and the, but that's going to be Wi-Fi dependent. I don't know. There's so many variables that I don't know. I do know that they are going to be taking really good care of me over there. They've got, they've got, uh, you know, uh, uh, basically a food. They've got like a, a green room set up for the for the speakers. So I'm going to be taking really good care of. But I'm also going to be uh, taking advantage of the situation and enjoying the classes as well. All right. So um, the uh, one of the questions that one of the members had asked me um, uh, was, let's see here. Um, Friday gig. Um, I'm reading it right now. Okay. Oh, one more dumb question. Was the uh, threat board changed uh, for us lately? I have not done the, the threat board since September 8th. There are currently no additions to the threat board. Uh, currently the threat board, I'm going to pull it up right here. That is not it. Please tell me I didn't close it like a dumb, dumb, you know, the tier one threat is still inflation and economic crash. Uh, coupled to election and possible civil war. Tier two is tyranny, war, cyber attack, and tier three is nuclear war and terrorist attack. So right now our focus are the, are the tier one threats. With that said, um, I've really been kind of digging through this and trying to think about all the, the left has been adding all these ridiculous comments to the news feeds, okay? And so one of the theories that I'm throwing around in my head, which is becoming more and more logical every day, uh, is that the, uh, the left is spinning up election issues uh, that are affecting everyone. Everybody doesn't know what to think. <clears throat> they're, um, they're, uh, they're reaching for every option in order to try and stop Trump. But they know that they can't. And every day, their own polls are showing that they can't beat him. Uh, that 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 uh, uh, Trump is doing the things that the people want. Okay, so when 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 the people who wear the red ties, you know, um, <laughs> you know, um, I believe. Uh, and God, this is going to come back to haunt me. I can feel it already. Uh, and and hopefully, I'm wrong and everything goes smoothly. But I believe that Trump will win the election. Uh, and when the left um, tries to pull out all the stops to stop him and can't, I believe that they will try and decertify the election results. I think that they believe that that's their final Trump card that allows them to stop him from becoming president. Um, I am not aware of any situation in which the election has ever been not certified. Uh, it may have happened. There may be a process. But as we go through these political problems in our nation, we're running into these stumbling blocks where nobody knows what to do because things are happening that have never happened before constitutionally, politically, governmentally. 
okay? Now, there are different things that could happen, but, uh, and I'm just, I'm literally just reading what I've already written in the, in the chat. Um, so, you know, um, you know, if the red ties get a whiff that this could be a thing and people have already been starting talking about how, guys, do you know who certifies? Do you guys know who certifies the, the election results is the one who holds the gavel and bangs it and says that it's done. That's right. Kamala Harris. If the people who wear the red ties, you know, get a whiff, um, which seems even more possible now, uh, that an attempted non-certification of the election scenario is about to go down, they will march. They will march on the Capitol. They will be there waiting for it to go bad. They'll be standing there, rubbing their ARs lovingly, waiting for it to go down. There's a segment of people that will do this. And I hate to say it, but rightfully so, because in order to not certify an election, you have to have proof beyond a reasonable doubt that it's not legitimate. Okay? And what they might do is they might single out a specific state that would help Trump win. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's a little crazy. It's a little crazy. Uh, the drawback to the entire situation is that the U.S. House would be the election would go to the U.S. House and there are more people uh, wearing red ties in the U.S. House than there are blue ties. And I honestly would have to look into whether it's just a majority vote or if a certain percentage is required. If you know, put it in the chat. Um, so um, I personally don't think that Kamala has the sack to do it herself, uh, but the left always sticks together. And uh, they'll try and filibuster it somehow, some way, throw a fit, if anything, just to show their power to their constituents that they're still alive and well. Um, you know, uh, and at this point is when I actually decided I needed to make a video. Now, what happens if they try and filibuster? Well, we're going to have another J6. We're going to have another J6. The, the, this could be the, the push to... Um, uh, force martial law. This could be linked to, and I doubt it is, but it could be linked to use of military force on civilians by the DOD. Um, you know damn well they're going to put the fences up. You know damn well this time they're going to have the National Guard out there because that's the way the blue ties play. All right. Um, it's going to look like a damn police state. It's what it's going to look like around the Capitol. They'll probably close the entire capital off okay during the during during the day of the election and the recertification so it's 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 really scary um and i think that you need to make sure that you're prepared for it um please think think about what you're doing and how you're acting uh and remember that your family needs you so i'm not saying don't do anything i'm not saying to do anything i'm just saying Compile all the facts. Use all the facts. Get all the facts. Also, there is a massive, massive attempt to skew the media right now. Okay? Information is coming out that's not real. And, and it's very difficult to identify what's real and what's not. Use multiple sources. Don't take it from one, you know, don't believe exactly what Fox News is saying. Don't really believe what Ground.News is saying completely. Okay? Use common sense, and uh, you should get through this. All right. Hopefully, 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 I'm completely wrong, but that's just a theory that I'm bouncing around right now, thanks to one of my members. Uh, if you uh, if you want to have more conversations like this in in real, uh, contemplate becoming a member. There's links in the description. Also, for my members, uh, in order to make this so that it goes out after you see it. Um, I have to monetize it. Sorry. Uh, you guys know I don't monetize uh, members-only videos, but this one will be going out to the masses sooner or later. So, as usual, guys, stay safe. Have a great day. I'll see you when I see you. Don't forget that thumbs up button on the way out the door. And, uh, yeah, off to Kentucky I go tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.